Well, when, I, when I'm thinking collagen, I, I automatically think it's its ability to structure water and to create that that gelled water all the way throughout the body. And, and um, you're a fan of Gerald Pollack probably as much, if not more, than I am. Yes. <laughs> um, I'd love to get into your thoughts about um, the role of, of structured water. And I mean, one of Pollack's um, papers showed that glyphosate reduces the EZ yes. in the water. Um, I remember that. That's amazing, have, right? Yeah. I mean, if you have a, a toxin that has the ability to break the water in the body, uh, the, the possibility of that to cause um, so many problems is huge. So right. you know, what, what's your view on, on the, the role of structured water in the body as it relates to glyphosate? Yeah, I think the structured water is absolutely amazing, all the things that it does for you, and particularly, for example, lining the blood vessels. You know, we have, and I talk a lot about the heparin sulfate proteoglycans that um, are linked to the uh, extracellular matrix of, the, of the, all the cells, but in particular, the cells, the endothelial cells lining the blood vessels they have this heparin sulfate that heavily populated with heparin sulfate. The sulfate is important because, and I talk a lot in my book about how glyphosate messes up the sulfate supply. I think that's a crucial part of its uh, toxic toxicology. And um, heparin, the sulfate also is very good at binding. Uh, heparin sulfate attaches to collagen, first of all, and it's very good at, um, at holding structured water, maintaining and growing structured water. And so um, when there's not enough sulfate in that extracellular, in, in the lining the uh, blood vessel, when there's not enough sulfate, then you start, your red blood cells can't easily slip through the capillary. Because if you picture a capillary and you think jello lining all the walls of the capillary and the red blood cell barely fits inside the capillary, you know, it's very tiny. So it has to have a very slick uh, surface to be able to kind of slide through like going on a slide to reduce the tent, you know, the, um, the friction, because if there's a lot of friction, the heart's going to have to pump a lot harder to get the red blood cell to go through. Maybe it'll get stuck. So there's, it's really, really important to have that uh, gelled water lining the vessel. And then the red blood cell is in the fluid water that's in the internal part of, you know, the actual blood that's flowing through and it can flow through very easily. It doesn't get all tangled up in all the cells, all the molecules that are sticking along the surface. They're all buried inside that structured water. So a very smooth surface. Otherwise you don't. If there's not enough sulfate, you don't. And then the red blood cell gets stuck. And, and it's also important in the membrane of the red blood cell. The red blood cell carries cholesterol sulfate in its membrane, which is very interesting because that's providing the negative charge that repels the red blood cells from each other, just like magnets. So they stay separated. If they don't have enough negative charge, first of all, they could stick together. And secondly, there isn't enough power to push them through because that negative charge is actually working to help the circulation actually flow because the blood is like a battery. There's like a, there's a voltage drop between the artery and the vein. And when the red blood cells traveling through the capillary, it's attracted like, like you would be, uh, like a magnet would be attracted. It's attracted to the venous side. So it wants to get through, it's pulled in through that charge. If it has more charge, it's gonna pull faster. It's a very simple you know, equation there. So when the red blood cell doesn't have enough negative charge because it doesn't have enough cholesterol sulfate, it can't flow again, that's going to disrupt the flow. So you basically have really big circulation problems with these, these two uh, issues related to sulfate in two very different